All right, here on D Shop of the Morning and my other platform shows, I may re air this on my episode monthly show and maybe my cable show. So, but anyway, happy Friday. And um, we have Mark Carter who does open mic night um, because I do my comedy poetry there. And you are a unique performer because you don't need any instruments, do you? Uh, no, I don't play anything. You don't play anything. Oh, no, all vocal. All vocals. And you live a, you're from Warwick, Rhode Island, huh? Yes. Yes, I am. And how'd you get started in the music? Well, I'm really a theater person. But, um, you know, so it's, uh, I guess it's kind of a way to do theater when I'm not doing theater. Uh, I sing, you know, it's just a way of performing. Sure, sure. Yeah, um, I'm not a musician or anything. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, no, I mean, I, w I would say, I mean, I mean that's still musician caliber you know what i'm saying uh and, and we um every third well thursdays is when i see you at the um mediator stage in providence rhode island 50 round street um yep. i'm usually open mic night starts around 7 30 p.m um and can you give an exa example to um uh, of course this is a visual on youtube um um but it's it's audio on um this is on iHeartRadio. radio this is on amazon music right now people listen to you right now on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Podcasts. Um, can, can you give us an example of your music? Sure. Sure. Some take the Bible for what it's worth When it says that the meek shall inherit the earth Come on, when I heard that some meek has, has brought you just last week And you suffer and get in nothing It's Hare Rama who really wrong when you wander around with a napkin on, with a bell on a stick, and your hair is all gone, the meek shall inherit nothing. Awesome. So, so who are some of your musical influences? Frank Zappa. I'm the only person I know that does Zappa. Uh, Floyd, Cooper, Toll, Queen. I have a lot of them. Okay, can you give an example? Oh, what was that song you just performed? What was the name of that one? That was called The Meek Shall Inherit Nothing. And that's from that's a Zappa tune. All right. Do you have any original? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, I I don't do originals, but I'll do one for you there, Derek. Okay. And what's this one called? <laughs> this one's called um, uh, Unrealized Dreams. Okay. <laughs> I got me some plans, I got me some schemes, I got me a lot of unrealized dreams, but soon they'll be realized, you bet your life, and I'll be relieved of all worry and strife. I can just feel all that greed in my hand, if you were me people, you would understand that as money does make this whole world turn around, the biggest banks are where I'll be found. I'm so greedy, yeah. I'm so greedy. I'm so greedy. I'm so greedy. I'm so greedy, greedy, greedy. I'm so greedy. Oh, so greedy. <laughs> Wow, very good. But listen to Mark Carter again. And, and again, how, how did you get started with this again? Like, uh, what age did you get started in this? I've been doing theater since the fourth grade. Fourth grade. And, and how did you know that you were talented without 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 any instruments? Well, um, if people call me talented, I think that's very kind. Um, I just uh, do a lot of sound effects. I guess I have the throat for it. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, it, pretty, it, much, pretty much it. What, what's, what's your full-time job, if I may ask? I work for Refocus Incorporated and the Fogarty Center, and both of those are human service agencies I work for um, uh, the uh, disabled. Do you, do you ever perform for them? No. 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 Yeah, no it, I don't think they'd be interested in that. Uh, do, do, have you performed any other places other than the medi mediator stage? Uh, I've I've been doing, well, like I said, I've been doing theater since the fourth grade. I've been, I've been at uh, all the, uh, pretty much all the theaters uh, between the uh, early 80s and the mid-90s. 
uh, the theatre scene has changed an awful lot since then. Uh, I performed in New York. Uh, there was a place called the Custom House. Uh, Joe Og, our friend of mine, he he did um, uh, he ran the open mic there. Uh, then there was a place called the Apartment, which he also ran. And um, um, where else? Um, I'm trying to think of it. I was there the other night. Um, I. I want to say alchemy, but it's not alchemy. It's right down the street from there. I can't. Oh, oh askew. Yes, askew. <laughs> so, so <laughs> what? What are some great plays you've been in? I've uh, been in a lot of Shakespeare. Been about fifteen Shakespeare plays. Um, I have a list if you like that. Uh, I've, again, I've been doing theater since the fourth grade. I've done a play called uh, On the Open Road, uh, written by Steve Tessick. Um, that was a, one of the leads in that. I was in King John. I played the lead in that. I was uh, in As You Like It a couple of times uh, with uh, my friend and director, Bob Colonna, who has now moved to Georgia. Uh, what part of Georgia? Because I'm going to Georgia in a few weeks on business. Oh, um, I don't know. I'd have to get back to you. Sure. And um, um, and so um, have you performed um, um, at the PPAC or or at the uh, at the other one? Um, I can't think of it. The... Um, um, tr um, the other big place in Providence. Um, have you performed any big theaters in Providence? Uh, the uh, Trinity I did, Rep. I did do a show at, uh, at PPAC, but this was many years ago. This about, I think it was 2008. I think it was then. Wow. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Elizabeth Kaiser, she had a show, and uh, she was uh, very kind to ask me to do her form in that. I played the, a character called Greed, and he was Greedy. Wow. Uh, uh, the song that I just sang, that was from the Artist Exchange's uh, production of um, Intermittence, sure. and I wrote that. My daughter was in that. I've uh, done a lot of shows there, uh, primarily uh, uh, Christmas Carol, played Scrooge or Marley. Sure. And, uh, I mean, I've, I've done, you know, I, I've been in a lot of shows. I have. Sure. So um, um, if people want to get a hold of you, um, if, 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 if they want to, Hire you for anything? Do you have, um, any contact information you want to give out to the the listening audience? Uh, sure. Uh, my uh, cell phone number would be uh, area code four zero one five two three seven eight eight seven. Uh, landline would be area code four zero one seven three two seven six one eight. I can be very easily reached on Facebook. Um, that's a, probably the best way to get a hold of me. Mark Carter, right? Yes, that's right. All right. Well, I do thank you very much for joining me. And, uh, you know, um, um, I, I just think you're very talented. People that can't see you visually on the iHeartRadio and the Apple Podcast will definitely love the audio part. And, of course, people who have seen you on YouTube and the Derek Shapiro Show right now and DSSDVDation.com would appreciate what you have to offer. And, and, and a lot of people love your personality and your persona every week at the mediator stage and, and and I can see why people love it. You know what I'm saying? Well, thank you. Thanks very much, Derek. I, I appreciate that. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I also do movies too. So I'll talk to you off the air about that. Maybe, okay. um, um, you can be a guest in my movie sometime. So well, that'd be nice. Yes. That would be real nice. Well, thank you, Mark Carter. D sharp in the morning. All right. Thanks very much.